This is ASS Breaking News. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another ASS Breaking News segment. I am I am your host, uh, Asman Bin Licken, joined by Brock Jurgensen. Good evening. And Good we evening. have a breaking news story for you tonight. Asman Bin Licken has the scoop. Mayor Lori Lightfoot has lost her uh, re-election uh, bid for mayor of uh, Chicago due to most of her, her voters being shot and murdered. Wow, that's, that's pretty awful. Um, you lose a lot of voter base, losing 40 to, to 50 every weekend since you've been in office. That, that's, that's basically everyone in the city. Wow. Really puts things in perspective, right, ass man? It really does. Anyways, let's get to our top stories this evening. During a Black History Month celebration at the White House, President Biden said, I might be a white boy, but I'm not stupid. In the very next breath, the president addressed a black man in the audience as boy. It really puts in perspective, too, that Lori Lightfoot has lost her re-election on the last day of Black History Month. Of all times. Atman Quantumania opened up to abysmal weekend in Marvel standards. With its predictable dialogue and overly edited visual effects, it had Marvel fans wishing Scott Lang would shrink and go up to the ass of the franchise before expanding and blowing it up. Man, I think they tried to do that with in Avengers Endgame with Thanos. They tried that, but unfortunately, there was a piece of shit named Lori, uh, Lori Lightfoot in the way. That would, yeah, I could see how that would be, uh, that would allow the Marvel Cinematic Universe to continue. Anyways, Prince Harry and Meghan were reportedly planning to sue Matt Stone and Trey Parker for parodying the couple on a recent episode of South Park. Meghan was said to be, quote unquote, upset and overwhelmed by South Park's dig at her and Harry wanting privacy, saying she didn't want any part of the spotlight while live streaming herself in the public restroom taking a shit. With the snap to his chat filter too. Hearings for student loan forgiveness are set uh, to start soon on the SCOTUS floor. A group of congressmen, including politicians like Schumer, uh, Bernie, and the teachers union president called for SCOTUS to do the right thing as they find who is to blame for this. SCOTUS responded by holding up a huge fucking mirror to Congress. Wow. Wait, is it pointing at, is the mirror facing Congress or facing SCOTUS? It's facing Congress. Wow. Right. That right. one, that one, that one has layers. That one, that would confuse, that confused me for a second. Ass man. SCOTUS, they're full of tricks up their sleeves. Yes, now we know it's under those robes besides AS. Anyways, a fashion designer by the name of Asya Kamsen has come forward alleging that former Biden appointee with the Department of Energy, Sam Brinton, stole her luggage and its contents back in 2018. Brinton, who identifies as non-binary, was fired for allegedly stealing passenger luggage in two different states, Nevada and Minnesota. He now faces up to 15 years in prison if convicted, and death by firing squad for trying to wear bunny ears with those shoes. Well, I mean, at least he's he's working it. You try walking it. a mile in those shoes. He's owning it. He is. Get it, girl. Canada, Canada has created a medical assistance in dying committee for their new po uh, policy on medical suicide. When a patient has no hope of surviving or they become a cost burden. We're, we here at ASS News praise this, news pol this new policy and urge the committee to medically suicide themselves along with all of Canada. Amen to that, Habibi. And Habibi, and welcome Canada. back. Welcome back to another episode of the BB Power Hour. Do you personally want to hear from the former president? I wanted to hear from the former president, but honestly, I kind of wanted to subpoena the former president because I got to swear everybody in. So, Brinton, do you still have a security clearance? Are you going to plead guilty today? Are you stealing your luggage today? Hey, so the 
movie goes like this. The biggest drug cartels in the world get together and buy up all the media and all the politicians and force the people to be السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته جاي your, your audio is cut out you put on headphones and all of a sudden no one can hear you this is how is it possible that Jay is a bigger boomer than I am all he needs to do is just change his audio input that is impossible look at that look at that Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear All you. right, perfect. All right, let's try that again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What's going on, Habibis? I'm Suraj Hashmi. I'm Jack Kobe. And we're the Habibi Bros. Welcome to another episode of Habibi Power Hour. First of all, thank you to all of you who have continued to support us and who have been working with us along the way. That includes our producers, Ben Morrissey and Spencer Sachs, both of whom should be fired and thrown into a gulag, maybe Gitmo. We're not sure. Uh, but oh, probably, especially because uh, our uncles are already there and, you know, they, they need a they, familiar they face. Should, exactly. They should have a familiar surrounding. Familiar face, familiar yeah, face. Understand so, like what bend over means in Arabic. Yeah. That, you know, we actually give them the training and the tools so that when they are in the shower with our uncles, You know, they, they have a good time. Exactly. Get in here, Spencer. Say hello. I'm not going to say hello. Is What's good, everyone? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that was, that's exactly how it is. Now take him away, boys. He was, he was getting ready. He was, getting, he was like, I'm huh. in and out. In and We out. But BBs, if you want to continue to support us and possibly get on the government watch list and help us remain independent, go ahead and hit that join button. Join our locals community. Make sure you also hit that like and subscribe button. Inshallah, inshallah. So, Habibi, how you doing? How's how man? We've been gone for two weeks. I yeah, it has been. I did uh, well. I did a stream finally, a gaming stream finally. Finally, finally. What'd you play? What'd you play, Jay? Uh, for those for oh. the Habibis who don't know. So I played, um, I played uh, uh, Dead Space, the the remake of Dead Space, um, mm -hmm. and honestly, it's if you go back and watch the stream, I think I shat myself tw at least twice. Really? At least twice, and I had Taco Bell beforehand, which was a genius idea to let it like flow through easier, so mm -hmm. it wouldn't be that hard. Um, but the game itself. Yeah, the game itself is no joke. It's no joke. Um, they, they remade it really, really well. I mean, it's dark. It's creepy. They're in the fucking walls. You don't know when they're going to pop out. And they have these, like, fucking huge nail things that they like to stick right up your ass. Like, that's their and move. That's, and that's honestly, coming from you, <laughs> come, come. coming from you, that that is uh, going to be something that you object to. That's that That should make all of us... So all, all of us should take pause in that. No, absolutely. So now you guys know that we're going to be doing a lot more gaming on Rumble. Siraj has already been doing a couple of uh, a few streams with Elden Ring. Elden Ring. Elden Ring. Did you have you gotten any further? I have. Elden? Have you I've really? Beat, I've beat at least one boss. <laughs> Which boss? Godric the Grafted. Oh, I'm still at Godric. Oh, you know what's funny, Jay, is that he's got so many arms. I'm just like, damn, what the what them hands do? Oh, uh, you know, you and I both. No, we. we I'm basically not. Jen Rubin, 69, um, trying to find love in a tarnished land. Mm -hmm. I still love game. that. That's your name. Is it, it? Are you playing on the PS or the Xbox? PS. Oh. So, actually, uh, Dan from last night joined the stream uh, over the weekend and actually was backseating a little bit, but then also tuned out as he was on the Discord uh, chat with me. So that was fun. 
Well, that was that's good. I mean, he knows how it's to classic, take the back seat. Classic, yeah. He he learns he learned from me being his dad and all. And, and <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the other way around. I'm pretty sure he's your dad. Is that not true? Look, we have there, photo evidence. There might there might be a photo out there. There might be a photo of my mother being a whore, but <laughs> <laughs> there's no 100 percent proof with like how <laughs> AA AI works right now and face swap and all that kind of stuff. Mom, I love you. Thank you for joining the hack. <laughs> the hack. Everybody, uh, the the chat. Everybody on Rumble. If you see Mary uh, underscore yeah. I C K C, that's my mother. That's already. I love that's you, Mom. Art- Jay, you know that's already been clipped and being put out on on Twitter and, and being sent to Mary, and you're already you're getting disowned before this episode ends. Probably, I mean, I mean, she sat through a whole lot worse. I'm pretty sure. I that's love you, mom. Probably true. You Anyways, <laughs> um, so basically, that that's. <laughs> We are ramping up the gaming streams on uh, on Rumble, and we are going. If you join our locals community, we are eventually, eventually, going to invite the Habibis to game with us. Yes. And there's Mary right there, on Rumble saying, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I I, I can't. <laughs> We love we love interacting with our audience. Uh, Spencer, block Mary underscore I C K C please from the street. Oh my god! All right, well, Habibis, uh, if you're just tuning in, um, we have a major, major, major news story happening this evening. Breaking news: We've never actually said this before. I actually just learned as soon as I logged on here that. Chicago Mayor Lori, L- L- is it Lori? Lor Lori? Well, during Black, Foot during, uh, during Black History Month, it's Lori has been has been uh, has lost her primary, uh, and as of let's see, to Paul Vallis or, or is it Vias or is it Brandon Johnson? Anyway, she came in third with she didn't even get more than twenty percent of the vote. Nope. Um, and honestly, RIP in peace, Lori Lightfoot. We yes. hardly knew ye. And from Locals Premium Chat, Fuzzy, Jay, how many times did you die? I was starting uh, to get embarrassed for you. That's saying a lot, you pee sitting down. First of all, pee sitting down should be something all Americans do. And also, <laughs> all Americans should get a bidet as well, especially with how much I advocate eating ass. Honestly, if you don't have a bidet in your house, you are nasty. You are dirty. You need to get a, a, a bidet. I mean, aren't you sick and tired of having itchy asshole every day at work? You know, after you take a shit, there's nothing to wash yourself with. Don't let that be at home. Don't get a don't bidet. Get a bidet. And I only died twice, fuzzy, you piece of shit. Big shout out to the Rumble team for just opening uh our our offices i'm sorry their office our offices i worked at too (laughs) (laughs) uh in uh sarasota florida and uh big shout out to my colleagues uh jenna brianna and steve for putting together a hell of an event and making sure everything went off without a hitch um but also um shout out to Lori lightfoot for uh, making history as the first black woman and first openly gay person ever to serve as mayor of Chicago to also become the first black woman and first openly gay person to ever serve as mayor, a one term mayor. Oh, history. really? Is she the first in his? Well, for being no, no, she's the, the first. Man. She's the first one term mayor who's uh, a black woman and openly gay. Right. So. There have been straight one-term mayors, I'm sure. Have there been any other one-term mayors in Chicago? Find out. Hey, yeah, of course. There have been plenty of one-term mayors, but she's the first black woman and openly gay person to be a one-term. Oh Diversity. my god! Diversity. Diversity. I mean, Diversity. it's kind of like what? Uh, what's that dumb fuck um, press secretary for the White House right now? When she was 
you know, they're talking, it's so funny how this always happens. They're talking about how horrible the United States is, is how horrible the country is right now and where it's going and all this type of stuff. And then she has to take a break and just be like, I just want to mention that we are the most diverse uh, admin in history. We have uh, people who identify as women working here. I love how they put identify as women working here in that fucking thing. And all I want to say. What is that? What is that? That's you. I'm a woman. You identify as a woman. About time. Let's do it. Hey, so, it's been 15 minutes into the stream, Habibis. For those of you who haven't already hopped on over to our, uh, oh shit, I forgot to even pull up the YouTube. <laughs> We're streaming right now on YouTube as well, but we are going to shut off the stream over there so you can all join us on Rumble. I'm actually going to have to like include the link in the description. I haven't done that already. Why are you still watching this on YouTube? Like 11 of you exactly. watching. I know there's there's no point on being on YouTube. There's I will put we'll put uh the best um the best uh clips on Rumble and then subpar stuff on on YouTube. Come over yeah, to Rumble. Rumble Rumble's going out. places and if you don't already know that, I mean, you've watching this show right now on Rumble. And for those of you who are not, refresh refresh the page and I included the link in the description so you uh can go ahead and um how you say what is was the word jam looking for yeah uh hop over to rumble yes hop over to hop. rumble a two-step hop. band hippity hop a hippity hop hip hip hop hip hip it up hip it up so don't, don't uh, miss this content do not you, miss this content <laughs> over you to rumble. You, you you this this premium live content that you're not gonna get anywhere else at least not on youtube anymore exactly so. exactly put it over and then also i just wanted to to go over to my point where hold on, if hold you ever on, watch on, jay i'm ending the stream and then i'm ending the stream on youtube oh, join okay. us over on the rumble okay all right see you over there okay now we're all done right. we're done all with right. that we're done with that oh my god <laughs> sorry jay i was just getting too uh, you're you're fine hold up i was getting too constraining in there thank you Welcome, Habibis. Now the real fun and games can begin. Very nice. All right, here we are. So where where I was going with this is like mm -hmm. if you ever watch like the um the the press secretary on um uh on one of on one of the the, the press uh conferences. You, she always has to stop in the middle of like talking about how horrible everything is going with giving no real answers to, mm -hmm. to reiterate how diverse this admin is. Always. So I, it, I, I don't know if Spencer like has that trying. clip. It's, I'm it's hoping like Spencer is not the worst producer in the world and has that clip at the ready uh, because he's, he's going to he's going to go for it. He's probably watching the hentai right now. But <laughs> and not they, even the not even the heterosexual hentai. It's Futrani hentai. And the funny <laughs> the funniest thing is is uh it's just like proving to everybody that making sure you're as diverse as possible in any type of office in any type of anything, making sure that you are only hiring based on you know skin color, sexual uh, or, orientation whether or not they have a penis and identify as a woman or a they, them, non-binary, whatever the fuck mental illness at the time, uh, just goes to show you're going to destroy the fucking, the fucking office. That's what is going to happen. You're not picking the best of the best. You're well, hold and on. You're not Jay. even what if this, about Jay, hold picking on. the best. They're not saying what that if, we pick the best black person for the job or we pick the best, you know, mentally ill, they, them for the job. They're just saying, this is how diverse we are. Well, look, I applaud Karine Jean-Pierre for highlighting how diversely incompetent the Biden administration is. It's just you have to think you have to take a step back and remember that when you used to think of government incompetence, the face of government incompetence, what was it? Old crusty white man, right? That's now, now the this is equity folks now uh black trans women and black gay men 
and all these different groups, all these different labels, LGBTQ, LBJ, uh, every all of the and the LBJ was for LeBron James, but all of them, <laughs> all of them can now claim that they are the face of government incompetence, and they just you know, honestly. You love to see it. So you love it. You love it. That's um, how that's how that's how how much equality they want to put in there. They want to make I literally sure that all races Spencer, get I literally asked Spencer to find me a clip of Kareem Jean Pierre highlighting how diverse the Biden administration is. And this is what he comes up with. <laughs> What's a really four hilarious and a, about a this? Five minute interview of Lori Lightfoot. Throw that back up there, Spencer. <laughs> We're so shaming funny. you now. It's so funny because he is right here. To show that racism in America exists on Black History Month, we tell him Black to History find Month. one other type black woman, and he brings us this black woman. Not and all of them is, look alike. They do not all look the same, sir. Spencer, during Black History Month, no less, you do this. As Amazing. in the waning hours of Black History Month, this is what you do. I I ask for Karine Jean Pierre, and you bring me Lori Lightfoot. Pure unadulterated racism. It's amazing. He should he can't. should he should be fired, you but he's not. not going to be because honestly based. <laughs> but he's still fired because he thinks he's not getting fired. He's getting fired. Yep. That's okay. You don't have to find the clip anymore. It's I think the moment's passed. I really <laughs> want to get to our top story this evening. I really want to get to our top story this evening because uh Jay, um can you say can you say it? Can you say it? Are we vindicated? Are, are the Habibi bros vindicated? I think a lot of people are vindicated and like to an extent. Hold on, hold on. Do you know what we're vindicated for? Yeah. For eating for ass. Saying, That's what it is. I was going to say eating that. ass is better than eating, the coronavirus, than eating right? Pussy. Like it's absolutely there's the health benefits on it. The nutrition you get from it. All of it. Like it's a it's a plus on a plus on a plus. Yeah, it's it's a plus on a plus on a plus. But we are also talking about. The, yes. The, the the lab leak theory. Ah, yes, the lab leak theory. Ah, we've been we've been meaning to talk about this for a minute. So, what exactly happened? And for those of you who completely missed it, it turns out the the Department of Energy this past weekend basically issued a report saying that the most credible, well, they assessed with low confidence that the COVID pandemic originated from a lab leak. Now they use the terms "quote unquote." low confidence but they basically said yes the covid pandemic most likely arose from a laboratory leak in at the wuhan institute of virology in wuhan china which three years ago maybe three and a half considering when you consider the start of the covid19 pandemic even though it was officially dubbed that in march of 2020 uh we basically called the shift from right out the gate and yes, and Spencer will show you basically all the tweets from back then to now, but basically back then about what they were saying at the time when anyone, not whether it was President Trump, whether it was anyone on Twitter, you or me, Jay. Um, yeah, just and normal. Your, no, and not what, only normal what, people. Three accounts ago, right? This was three Doctors, accounts ago for you? Yeah, three, three, three accounts ago. But even, even well-renowned doctors and experts at the field were demonized and silenced over this. In China. not Well, in China, they died. But here in the United States, we had people like Fauci making sure that they were demonized and discredited as much as possible when it came to the lab leak theory, when it came to also that came out uh, this week as well, that, that um, actually your natural immunity was better than the first shot of the vi of the vaccine. If it is like either the same or better than the vaccine for immunity. Oh, about natural immunity. Yeah, yeah. We yes. I feel like we talked about it in the last episode, but maybe we it's did. possible that we missed it, so much time that we it's did it. Come, yeah, it's come, come, it's come back. Come. That it's actually, it's like there's more and more studies going into it, and not only those studies but also studies on masking being absolutely ineffective completely. So the, mm -hmm. me, the main three pushes on mainstream media was that it wasn't a lab leak, that right. masking worked, 
And mm-hmm. also that your natural immunity is not as good as the vaccine, that you should also right. be vaccinated while being while having a natural immunity as well. All three of these main things that shut that people used as excuses for policies that shut down schools, businesses, and and uh, ruined people's livelihoods for fucking years to come, no, <laughs> come no. again were used on false pretenses and they did not allow any other discussion, any other opinion outside of these to be discussed. And we are not going to see any accountability happening within the journalistic industry on this or on the fucking, uh, what I like to to say, like the expert, the expert industry, what they use as fucking experts, the pundit class, the bitch tit holes. The, the fucking the all, all of these motherfuckers that use the the word expert as if it means anything, as if it holds any goddamn fucking value on what we're talking about any fucking more. After COVID, the whole industry needs to be destroyed. The whole thing, I, everything for, from the top to bottom, needs to be fucking destroyed. I love I love you, Jay, because you don't you, you don't even like fucking hold back and just like lay it out for people you just fucking say it right there and then it's just it's fucking it's, hilarious it's the fucking truth. you just I beat mean, it right into our faces jay all of it, beat all it right of it, in there right into it from both sides <laughs> i mean if there's never been a more indictment against the fucking mainstream media and against the 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 use of fucking s experts mm-hmm. this shows it and it shows the reason why the american public has no confidence whatsoever in mainstream media anymore so let's see what the mainstream media, the corporate media was actually saying back then. Spencer, hit it. And, and make sure it's full screen. Not presidential politics. And the scientists aren't the only full ones rankled shit. today by Trump's effort Rewind at reputational shit. repair. You and your New York Times all driven, traditionally internet. driven by science not presidential politics. And the scientists aren't the only ones rankled today by Trump's effort at reputational repair. The New York Times also advances recent reporting on U.S. intelligence agencies, which we learned this week provided intel in the president's PDB as early as January about the lethal spread of COVID. Those same agencies now have been tapped with investigating one of Trump world's most favorite conspiracy theories. New York Times reports this, quote, senior Trump administration officials have pushed American spy agencies to hunt for evidence to support an unsubstantiated theory that a government lab in Wuhan, China, was the origin of the coronavirus outbreak. That's according to current and former American officials. The effort comes as President Trump escalates a campaign to blame China for the pandemic. Some intel analysts are concerned that the pressure from the administration officials will distort assessments about the virus and that they could be used as a political weapon in an intensifying battle with China over a disease that has infected more than 3 million people across the globe. The stories of Trump reaching deep into the government agencies charged with science. Charged no, with reminder. Science. What's charged that? With, like they love to put this word science in everything unless it goes against the narrative that they want to push. And when the science have- goes and, sh- and shows that it has nothing to do with what the fuck they're, they're saying are trying to, to progress then their, their fucking agenda, they don't use it. All right, so let's go and watch our, our buddy Jake Taper here, who Fuck. the holier than now Jake Taper. Fuck Jake Taper. How it may have spread from bats to humans continues to be a subject of investigation. Because we don't know where the novel coronavirus came from yet, the conspiracy theories fill yes, the void. Yes, we do. I'm telling you, the Chicago Times is trying to weaponize this theories. thing. Here's Conservative talk show host Rush Limbaugh theories. with zero proof suggesting a Chinese bioweapon lab is to blame. A Chinese official tweeting, it might be U.S. Army who brought the epidemic to Wuhan. But to find the real source of this pandemic, it's best to leave it to science. And- they, they call the American a, a conspiracy theorist, but right they say nothing say about anyone. the Chinese official. Claims they know the exact source of the novel coronavirus is guessing. Did it come from bats? Most likely. Chinese researchers have already determined the coronavirus is 96% identical at the whole genome level to a bat coronavirus. 
27 public health Perfect. scientists from across so the U.S. and the world week, uh, wrote this pause letter because in the I can't Lancet hear Jay. Condemning I can't this. hear CNN or Jay. I'm just hearing so, fucking mumbo jumbo. Imagine so, what people watching this show are thinking. They're asking, why doesn't Jay shut the fuck up and let the clip no, play? He, they're, they're thinking, why the fuck is CNN talking? The reason why that this is absolutely fucking hilarious is because they're saying the fact that Chinese people eat bat soup is the reason why <laughs> we're having this instead of going in the less racist fucking thing and saying yes, that it came it from is. a lab. Like, See, it's, it's absolutely fucking you just, hilarious. You, they, you, plebs, they, you plebs just don't get it. You plebs don't get it. You, you they, plebs they don't, don't get it. It's they, actually they more more racially sensitive and acceptable to say that the Chinese people just eat weird shit and that's how coronavirus started. Instead of saying it was from a lab leak, it's fucking oh, hilarious. Oh, you suck bad dick? You, su you basically ate the balls of a pangolin and that's how COVID started? There you go. Who am I to judge your culture? Exactly. They, but they right. want to say it's racist to say it was a lab. Yeah. Conspiracy theories. And citing scientific evidence, including the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, that supports the theory oh, yeah, that overwhelmingly lie. conclude that this coronavirus originated in wildlife, as have so many other emerging pathogens. The common thread is wildlife. These pathogens emerge from wildlife. One of those scientists is one of the most preeminent virus hunters in the world. All right. Uh, we, we, we get the point. We understand. No, we don't have to keep watching. Fuck Jimmy Kimmel. Fuck Joy yeah. Reid. No, it's fuck, so fucking fuck hilarious. Joe, fuck, literally, we could go for into... hours watching these fuckheads lie to us, but you um, get the picture. You get the picture that there's time and timeless, countless, countless motherfuckers within the corporate media and public officials telling us the same exact fucking lie. And that is that coronavirus just originated out of nowhere. Wildlife. Well, they would be right if they basically said, you know, the coronavirus that uh, was gotten uh, that we basically ascertained and put in the lab that we got from wildlife. That was from like an actual 2012 uh, mining dig where like there was bat coronaviruses that led to like several of these miners. I'm not talking like underage pedos. <laughs> you know, put it back in your pants. All right. I'm talking about like miners underground getting coronavirus and some of them dying. They basically took that shit, brought it to Wuhan. It wasn't that far from Wuhan either. They brought that yeah. shit to Wuhan. And you know what they did after that? The fucking NIH, NIAID, Anthony Fauci, uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 Francis. Uh, the guy who, who did that amazing, amazing song. Uh, you mean this amazing song? Where is it? It's, um, fuck, it's going to kill me now. Um, I have it here. Sp Spencer, don't you dare play it. Here we go. Somewhere past the pandemic, when we're free, there's a life I remember full of activity. Okay, we can't watch the whole thing, but basically, that this, is for, this is what I'll happens. That shit. This is what happens when you have ADD. This is exactly what happens when you have ADD. I'm sorry, I Jay. I had to do I it. Mention, I had to, I I had to fucking do it. Or a video, and he would go off the rails and has to go and play. Absolutely has to play. I mean, Jay, it was absolutely start insane. with me. Jay, don't you start with me. You remember the vaccine song? I got the vaccine. You got the vaccine. They got the vaccine. We got the vaccine. That one? That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> B11, but the butcher on the rumble. Thank you for the rumble rant with uh, the two dollar tip saying hello. If uh, that's just the tip, <laughs> I'd like then, to see the whole thing. And then he goes in and says, "No shirts is weird, though." <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't even know why we keep on doing this. By the way, like okay. All right, but all right. So, so back to lab leak, okay? All right, because th this is how our ADHD works. We're basically all over the place. But um, specifically, uh, the Department of Energy they drop they drop this bombshell, okay? And there, it's twofold, okay? One, the first thing you're wondering is why now? Why why now, Jay? Why now? What is the Department of Energy 
so invested in, how racist are they to suggest that China is behind the coronavirus outbreak that led to the deaths of millions of people worldwide? Um, but not in Africa, because in Africa, um, nobody reported coronavirus cases there because um, apparently, um, Jay, it's Black History Month. Coronavirus can't touch them. Nope, not nope. at all. Can't, nope. can't happen. Not gonna, Anyways, it's not going to do it. Um, but I mean, your 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 mics your mics your mic you gotta get your mic closer, doing, Jay. They're doing it right now because it's by design. You think it's by design? It's I have a different design. theory, Jay. It's always by design. Tell me your theory. Why would they give us this red meat right now? Okay, this is very suspect timing. Um, you know, maybe like they are admitting this not because they believe that they were wrong, but because maybe there's something that they're up that they're doing right now. Now. Jay, what happened recently with uh, um, anything relating to the Department of Energy? I don't know. You tell me. Why can't I fucking hear you, Jay? Why is it? Turn I the gain up in your mic. I'm, I'm sorry. I've been farting like a lot, so I don't want it to he, that's pick up on the, mic, on the mic. On the mic. That's why I'm sorry. Jay, we, we want to hear that juicy goodness. If, I apologize. If anything, bring the mic lower down to your down to like pants level. Okay. Because okay. I'm going to hear that. <laughs> What happened with the Department of Energy? <laughs> we get so okay. far off the rails. It's hilarious. Are you ready for it, Jay? Are you fucking ready for it? <laughs> Show me. Do it. Okay. Let me see. What it. happened? What happened over the last few weeks that like was you think was happening literally every day? Blackouts? No, you racist. Uh, I'm sorry. Are we are train are derailments. In, you we idiot. are what in 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 the fucking wait wait wait, wait. train der that's that has nothing to do with the Department of Energy. Does oh it? oh, does it, Jay? Does it? I don't does know. You it? tell you tell me. Hold well, on. Whoa, we know. We know. We know. Okay, you ready for it? Yes. What what happened in in a in a place called East Palestine, Ohio? Israelis de uh, took uh, took it's, settlements again outside you, from uh, wait which wait oh you mean Ohio sorry I forgot Ohio sorry yes yeah, sorry yes yes <laughs> that <laughs> be be buy eleven the butcher thank you Look, for the twenty dollars on Rumble Rants I'm starting a T-shirt fund you're welcome my eyes are burning <laughs> speaking of t-shirt fund if you haven't already checked out check out our if you want to clothe us there mm. is a premium there are two stores there's a habibi bros store and then the the premium store underneath uh where you get premium merch go ahead and check that out but here jay, jay can't even fucking hear me he doesn't he's putting his shirt back on like a fucking rube what are you, Jay? Are you? Oh yes, that's good. That's where you could get on the Habibi Bro store. That's Earn Sheikh Earn. Wearing my favorite, my favorite shirt you can get at the store. Our our leader and savior, Earn. Our leader and savior, Earn. So Jay, are you ready for it? Tell me. Okay. So in East Palestine, Ohio, where there was a uh, train derailment and a massive uh, spill of toxic waste mm -hmm. in that got into the that got into the drinking water into the fresh water um, and they end up having like a controlled burn like a controlled explosion um, I putting this out there have reason to believe the Department of Energy may have consulted the Department of Transportation and the EPA specifically on how to handle it. And what is the Department of Energy really? What 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 type of waste would they really handle, Jay? Huh? Type of waste? Yeah, what type of waste? Tell me. Well, besides like your toxic shits, um, nuclear waste. Right. So the likelihood that the Department of Energy gave us this red meat to try to distract us from, they basically say, oh yeah, there the, the definitely was a lab leak in, in Wuhan. Um, by the way, don't tell anybody about that time we, we blew up um, an entire 
uh, site of uh, n- nuclear waste and poison the entire town. But it wasn't nuclear waste. How do you know? Okay, well, it was a J. Whoa, 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 was whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. How what deep was it, Jay? Here? Hold on. How deep are we going here? Holy shit. So, Dude, we hold are on. So fucking hold deep. on. Hold like, on. We're, we're, okay. I love how we're co- connecting the dots here. I love it. Because the thing is, what you're doing here is trying to say that the lab leak is only being discussed right now because the Department of Energy does not want us to look into further on what happened with East Palestine. Bingo. Okay. So what you're saying we're talking is about the only psyops reason within, why Jay, I'm talking wait, so we're talking it, psyops wait, within wait, psyops, okay? Is is the lab leak real or is it just a psyop? No, 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 no. So so, th- so they're the lab creating leak was real and then the I, psyop was it wasn't real and then this happened and now the psyop is that it is real to cover up what the toxic Yeah, they're basically happened. we're like reaching inception level layers of psyops here. Yeah, it's a, it's a psyop within a psyop within, within a, psyop. a psyop. Yes. And for those of you who we are unaware about psyops, which I hope you're we not. We need to make this a shirt like right now. But a psyop within a psyop within a psyop. It yeah. has to be a shirt. Yes. And yes. So uh, this is, uh, Jay, I'm just telling you, you got to admit the timing sucks. Or, of course, <laughs> I love this theory. This is something that uh, uh, Emily came up with. Well, not Emily came up with, but this is her theory. That these are specifically um, domestic terrorist attacks. Well, uh, oh, of the the derailment, the, the train derailments and stuff. Mm-hmm. And everything. I think, honestly, I think we're, what I think it is, just, I mean, as you know, bringing in some sort of like reason into this discussion is we we've had multiple uh, derailments in the derailments in the past, but the 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 one that happened in East Palestine was massive, mm-hmm. and because they are playing catch up on this news, because when it first happened, nobody was talking about it. Right. They were talking more about some other shit that was happening that took more precedence in the in the news. And now that they're playing catch up, they are seeing that talking about more and more del- 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 uh, de- derailments is good clickbait. And well, good yeah, no, business. anything's possible. Look, I am not going to say. No, no, hold on, anything... hold on, hold on. You cannot what? say anything is possible to what I just said compared to all of the psyops within psyops that you said <laughs> whoa are we having a moment now bro we're having another psyop within a psyop right we're now. having a psyop within yeah, a psyop that's bro that's what's happening right now well oh sir it is absolutely psyop what, what are you what fucking shit are you talking about sir you shut the hell up your mouth a hundred percent i'm really uh, on one tonight aren't i uh, absolutely i fucking <laughs> love it <laughs> we're not even gonna get past the, past the first story are we We've been on this story for 45 fucking minutes. <laughs> uh, pr- arguably less, but like this but, is. But, but hold, on, hold, really, on, hold, wait, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Back to the lab have... leak. Back to the lab, lab leak. Back to the lab leak. Back to the lab leak. Okay. What I love Aporva, seeing. Amanda Willie. Aporva yeah, Amanda Willie. Now ahead. she is going to be mad at me, sir, because I say her face is uh, a stupid face. She comes in and says in May 26th, 2021. Okay, I could say this. I'm I'm half Pakistani, okay? And she is obviously Milli Vanilli. Okay. Someday we will stop talking about lab leak theory and maybe even admit it's racist ruse. But I'll I'll i ask that day is not yet here. This is what she tweets in May 2021. Right. It and is that's a what stupid a lot of, is she is. And they really wanted to put this racism, um, this racist narrative when questioning the lab leak theory and you see a lot of people like Mehdi Hassan on MSNBC, you see other people like Jill, uh, the, whatever the fuck her name is with three cats, 13 cats, sorry. Who, Uh, who, yeah. Who like to come in and try to say, Oh, the reason why mainstream media didn't want to talk about the lab leak is because you had Trump 
being racist, calling it the Chinese virus. Right. That's that. These are false claims of racism. They're like because that's not a racist that statement. That's true. It was coming from a place of racial animus, and therefore we can't we can't talk about it. Right. And they made it taboo to themselves on it because they always had to demonize whatever came out of the Trump administration and what uh, whatever came out of Trump's mouth. They had what to I just don't understand is Jay, and this is this is the lib this is the lib orthodoxy, okay? Because it used to be the case that you know science was always evolving and changing, and everybody, you know, there was nothing ironclad, right? There's nothing ironclad in science. Um, right. Basically, anything could be disproven by running anything through the scientific method. And um, whether you believe in the theory or not, that a, a or highly plausible and highly likely and probably true theory that the 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 coronavirus actually did leak from a lab, and whether you specifically believe whether the Chinese Communist Party and uh, the Chinese government was behind the leak. Either they released it deliberately or it was by accident. Um, you know, we can get into that discussion. I mean, I haven't believed it's more of the intentional lean than anything. Um, but if you want to talk about the science of it, um, just use your fucking brain. I don't know what else to tell you. It doesn't, it, it, honestly, it, you don't need to be a fucking rocket scientist in order to be like, oh, I could put two and two together. Wuhan Institute of Virology. Oh, the they're studying bat coronaviruses at a, what, a stage four, level four laboratory. Oh, and uh, Wuhan also happened to be the uh, the city zero where the outbreak first started. Huh. How the fuck did we get to the point where it's wet markets and uh, basically sucking off a pangolin that led to the first man getting... Uh, uh, fucking COVID. Uh, okay. I mean, apart from wanting to suck pangolin dick, which look, I'm not judging. Okay. I don't kink shame on here. And right. By the way, I like to try None it. None of us do. On. I don't want to, mm -hmm. I'd like to try it later on. Next time I, I visit China, whichever th that time will be, Jay and I will both, we'll both do it. Okay. We'll suck off as many pangolins as you want to. Yes. But I'm not going to get COVID from it. No. Jay might actually cure the world's COVID by eating that pangolin's ass, though. Probably. Probably that could yeah. happen. I think so too. No. And, and it, it was really hilarious that how they tried to. Fuck, that's right. Bone, bone, bones, right. Bone. It is guy on, on, uh, on, uh, rumble. Rumble. He says South Park already did it. God damn it. Yeah. God they did. Damn, I forgot they've about that. They've done, they've done it all. They have done it all. And it was really, it was, and, and then we, we also had people like Stephen Colbert, like attack the Department of Energy saying shit like stay in your lane and shit while he was out here dancing and fucking singing about the, the vaccine, all this type of stuff as if like he's some, what, where's his lane when it came to that kind of stuff? When it came to that shit, it is, it is absolutely fucking insane. How like not only corrupt, but just morally bankrupt our media is when it comes to giving this, us proper information. At this point, at this point, Jay, it's not, it, it's it, one, it's by design. Yep. But two, at this point, it's not even about ignorance or incompetence. They're just straight up evil. They're evil and they want you to own nothing and be happy. Yep. And, uh, um, I, sorry, sorry, Bonitis guy. I actually miss, I actually mispronounced, um, Bonitis by bon calling him bone. It is guy. So my fault. And also the, apparently Bonitis is an incurable disease from the 1980s. Uh, Bill, the butcher on rumble. I don't know why I was calling him B B by 11 by 11, the butcher. It's I, because it's, I, was, I said by 11. <laughs> by 11 the butcher uh says i'm starting a t-shirt fund you're welcome my eyes are burning you already shared that fucking message spencer you're fired how are you so bad at your job worst producer ever 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 god we're we're all right i hope um, i hope we can give him minus credits on this while he's in college that's what i'm <laughs> 
You know he would act, would not ever say no to that. Um, okay, so look in the midst of all this stuff with the lab leak theory. Okay, um, the fact that the uh, the United States government would give us this red meat right now. I'm just waiting to hear what other shit they're trying to cover up. Um, however, while we wait on that, Woody Harrelson hosted SNL this past weekend. And he said this, if Spencer wants to get on it, because it gave him no heads up that I was going right into Woody Harrelson, didn't I? He's so off his game. He's so he's so not ready for this. No, he's not. But then again, the libs were not ready for this either. And you'll see exactly what I mean. Because, um, hold on, to your butts and to your penises. And if you're a woman, you're a JJ. <laughs> was it what JJ? What JJ? Here we go. Okay, so the movie goes like this The biggest drug cartels in the world get together and buy up all the media and all the politicians and force all the people in the world to stay locked in their homes. And people can only come out if they take the cartel's drugs and keep taking them over and over. I threw the script away. I mean, who is going to believe that crazy idea? Hey, so the movie goes. That is Woody Harrelson. And here's the Rolling Stone, which apparently was a, an anti-establishment. It was it started as an anti-establishment, you know, against the against the grain type of publication. This is what they write by Marlo Stern. Of course, it's fucking Marlo. Woody Harrelson spreads anti-vax conspiracies during SNL monologue. Yes. How dare Woody Harrelson uh, besmirch. Pfizer and Moderna and Johnson and Johnson and AstraZeneca for producing a vaccine that isn't really a vaccine and also doesn't stop the transmission of COVID and also um, isn't as powerful as natural immunity and also has a bunch of unknown side effects that uh, could either kill you or leave you infertile and also um, hurt going in and also don't call and you. There's been a and, they, they and, don't call it they just leave you on they just leave you on read Jay right they just leave you on and, scene what the unread fuck? not read on read is and it, read it is or red? no it's red and it's fucking hilarious because we had like a forty percent jump in uh, heart attacks between the ages of eighteen to forty five and how what was the it was like forty percent like it was like 70, between two thousand and one. What was the what was the rate on the uh, myocarditis incidences incidences? I think it was, it was like, like seventy times, 70, right? Seventy times compared to normal between between the dates of twenty twenty one till now. Like it is absolutely fucking, and you can't question this. You cannot question this. You cannot talk about it. None of it. And Here's the Daily Beast. All of them. All of the these like far left leaning garbage institutions saying this there is not an unbiased journalist in journalism today all journalism everywhere from fox to the daily caller to the fucking uh daily beast to fucking huff huff po to rolling stone new york times washington post nowhere can you find a genuine journalist who is there to just give you the news and not give you a fucking message or narrative no way. Yeah, and also not journalism like doesn't exist as, as fucking... it's supposed to anymore to uh, this day. How, Today, I, journalism is shit. It's propaganda. That's it. Man, I, I just like it's one of those things where like I truly don't understand how anyone it's it's kind of like how the left was mocking people who were simping overly simping for elon musk when he first took over twitter like why are you simping for a billionaire yeah why are you simping for a billionaire he's done you know he, he's just he's just a human like you and me who just happened to buy a shitty product uh with a lot of money 44 billion dollars uh it's broken and uh you know we may all just hate him for it because uh the product hasn't gotten really better in a short span of time why am i shadow banned elon answer me this shit okay why am I still I put this and throw it on Twitter so Elon Musk will see this and not give me uh, 69 million followers? Why am I still banned? That's the real question. Yeah, why is it? Why is why is Jay's 14 other accounts not unbanned yet? I mean, I love really? Asslickin. I love his Twitter handle. Is that Asslickin? I I shit you not. You go on his go to Twitter, search up 
Aslikin, A-S-S-L-I-K-E-N, and you will find him. And it's it's beautiful. He is Twitter's Ed. Um, it's kind of what uh, got, you know led, led, led me to his open embrace. Um, and he ate my ass as a result. Anyways, um, what a... Uh, I was trying to get into the the I was trying to get into the tangent here or I went off on the tangent but my main point was that how is it possible that all the lefties who were you know criticizing um anyone who would uh you know defend or simp for Elon Musk then turn around and say you know what how dare you how dare you besmirch big pharma and Pfizer and Moderna and right. do all these things they're li- and they literally made an example out of a Martin Shkreli. Okay. Martin Shkreli, farmer bro. Okay. Remember how much, uh, you know, how much people hated him. This is what pharma does. They literally create diseases or they make medications that create terrible side effects that they then create medication for to treat those side effects. This is how the, this is the fucking racket. Okay, guys, everything that you see in front of you right now in the medicine, in the medical industry, this is obviously not the reason why I then become a doctor, because if uh, I knew this back then, um, I would have just not taken the MCAT three times and tried to apply to medical school. No, I'm not a doctor because I'm retarded, but <laughs> and I'm a fail. I'm, I'm basically wanted to uh, make my parents um, disown me. My my already heart surgeon, Pakistani father. Right. Right. So anyways, we should go to a Pfizer commercial. Um, Maybe ASAP. <laughs> would, this would this be, a BB Bros episode brought to you by Pfizer. Pfizer. <laughs> that would have been hilarious if our producer was even paying attention to his Jesus goddamn Christ job. Spencer. Holy we got infrastructure past in the house. Time to build back better than what I'm about. So, Mr. President, man, speak your house down the ground. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm a bill one critical and historic investment in child care, health care, climate care. God, that shit slaps so fucking hard. So uh, hard. Thank Jesus that that's that's Christ. Spencer. That, that was A class. That was that, that was, was A plus. Top. That was great. That was, that, that was great. Timing. Perfect. Because also you know that bill is probably fucking also sponsored by Pfizer. <laughs> <laughs> I would not be surprised whatsoever if it was also sponsored by Pfizer. Um Jesus. okay, so uh we all right. Real quick, because we are what an hour? Are we in it? Almost an hour into this. Okay, almost. Yes. Uh, I want to make sure we get to get through all all of our stories. Now, uh, this week, the Biden student loan forgiveness program mm-hmm. is up for debate on in the Supreme Court, and our the president, leader, Fuhrer of the American Teachers Union, Randy Weingarten, went on the steps of the Supreme Court and busted a tit. And I'm talking about her own tits, okay? Not anyone else's tits. And if Spencer is any well-prepared, he is going to pull up this tweet video of Randy Weingarten literally letting her vagina just roll out on the floor. Any moment now. Any, I had it ready here. I could have literally just played it, but I just wanted to just throw Spencer under the bus. During the pandemic, and frankly, and this is what really pisses me off, during the pandemic, we understood that small businesses were hurting, and we helped them, and it didn't go to the Supreme Court to challenge it. Big businesses were hurting, and we helped them, and it didn't go to the Supreme Court to challenge it. All of a sudden, when it's about our students, they challenge it. The corporations challenge it. The student loan lenders challenge it. That is not right. That is not fair. And that is what we are fighting as well when we say, cancel student debt. And Frank. So I just like to highlight here that she's never, act- that is the most passionate I've ever seen where Andy Weingarten. Uh, for students 
that's the most passion I've seen her fight for students because over the last three years, when America went into lockdown, Randy Gar Weingarten was the leading voice in ensuring that your children were remained developmentally, developmentally and academically behind than any other kid their age because she specifically pushed to have the lockdowns extended for as, lo as long as humanly possible because it was, quote, unquote, not safe enough for her teachers. She is she's gaslighting you for one. Also, um, two, uh, I like to highlight one other thing, Jay, um, and that is wood. Wood. Absolutely not. Wood. No, I would not. Wood. No. Yes. Not me. Yes. Couldn't it be me? It is me. Not me. And I'm and I'm drinking. You're not. I know. Anyways. Um, Jay, we've talked about this so many times with, with fucking, you know, Randy Weingarten and T she went to fucking Ukraine for God's sakes to talk for to what teachers, to talk to teachers about teaching in the middle of a war, bitch. All he really did was try to teach these Ukrainian teachers how to use kids as human body shields or that's human exactly shields, what it say. was. I mean, that's what they used also as excuses for, for like not, not working and getting paid for being at home. For and the funny, the the biggest thing is how they were pushing like mass doesn't hinder uh l like the learning ability for for children, which was absolute horseshit as well. Like the whole thing was a fucking lie. She wanted to come here and all advocate for this this type of garbage. We need to get rid of all public unions. Teachers unions need to go. There needs to be a huge fucking purge. When it comes to public schools, when it comes to public unions like the teachers union, these things need to be destroyed. They use your fucking tax money for shit you don't want it to be used for. And it goes to, to politicians' pockets. It is fucking corrupt. The whole thing is corrupt. It's all this it. is corrupt. The amount of money we send to Ukraine is corrupt. What we're doing with Ukraine is corrupt. What we're doing with uh, the teachers union is, is, is corrupt. The whole thing. It's all a racket. They are still a racket. And, and this is not only because I looked at my W2s and saw how much they took from me this this year. I am fucking livid. Uh, thank you for highlighting this, Spencer. Dr. Richard Harambe on Twitter says, OK, you have to wife up one of these. Who would you pick and why? Jay, who would you pick? Now, Markel, because I, her ass is the best. Absolutely. Who? Markel, Megan Markel. Markel. <laughs> Uh, is it not Markel? How, how do you say her name? Whiny <laughs> piece of shit. Megan Markel. Is it whiny piece of shit? No, what, what is her name? It's Markle. Oh, Markle. Well, I mean, Markel sounds, you know, a little bit it more culture. Exotic, yeah. Like, fuck. She's, I mean, she's white as fuck. Markel. Markel. Markel is a white fucking last name. Well, I mean, All right. her, her dad's All right, white. Jay. Uh, uh, what is it? What is it? Uh, What is it? Smash it's uh Smash Mary Kill or is it fuck Mary Kill? It's I don't even know fuck what the... Mary Kill. Holy Yeah, fuck. some people said it's, it's it is a this is a late night no, show. No, it's pass or smash. Fuck Mary oh, Kill. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, Habibi. No, you're fine. Um you're okay. It's all right. So you pick Megan, okay? Um mm -hmm. I can't pick your I can't pick your choice because um fuck it, Joe Biden. Jill Biden, get in here. <laughs> All right. Fuck Mary Kill. So Come on. I would... hold on, Jay. Remember this. Jay, 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 Jay. This is what you have to remember. If I wife up Jill Biden, think of all the money that I'm going to be rolling into. Right. Giselle Featherman. Giselle Featherman, they, she doesn't have enough. Okay. You know, Meghan Markle, they were cut off from the royal family. Yep. Okay. Jill Biden. She is, she's the ticket, okay? She's the dream. And also, how many people will be able to say, I fucked the president's wife? Not many, not many. But also, I'm an incel, so it's probably, I can't say that anyways. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to. Still got to that V card. Jill Biden, Jill Biden, she's, she's a doctor, okay? I need to marry a doctor. 
I need to marry a doctor and make my father proud. I mean, you married a lawyer, so that's that's okay. Pretty, that is fine. Okay, okay, but I need married doctor. You know, you needed to become a doctor. <laughs> Come, hmm. that's also true. Anyways, um, Jay, a new queen has entered the arena. Is it? Would you say when it comes to there are indi there are indictments recommended? Of course. Is it yes. more than twelve people? Is it more than twenty people? I think if you look at the page numbers of the report, there's about six pages in the middle that got cut out. Allow for spacing. It's not a short list. Not a short list. <laughs> more. I mean, when it comes to seven, is it? Would you say? This is Emily Kors, the jury four person, the grand jury four person, the Fulton County ju grand jury that's seeking to maybe indict president, former president Donald Trump. And I just I have mean, to say the acting on this would, is fucking would, insane. Would, 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 would. I have already creamed my jeans. Yeah, I mean, other, other women, women out there. Jay, I, they, literally, in the last two seconds, I've already creamed my jeans twice. <sighs> I need a cigarette. Yeah, you do. That is Emily Kors, and um, I, you know, I just got to say this, Jay. Um, say it. Uh, say it. You, you want me to say it? Say it. No, I can't. Okay. It's too inappropriate. This no. is a family show. It is. You know what you should be doing right now? What's that? Getting earned. Oh, yeah, I should. He's going to go get Earn. Earn is our leader in Caliphate. He is our leader in Caliphate. And honestly, she she should be the face of incels everywhere. There's there is there is a team being made right now between her, uh that that uh the the train wreck um the train wreck officer from Tennessee and the FTX girlfriend. It is amazing how bad I am with names. Like, it's absolutely amazing. I don't even remember any one of these person's names whatsoever. She looks like she eats kids. Grant's on point. She does. She looks like a young Hillary Clinton. So, you know, she eats kids. Here Is it is. literally a witch? Probably. Honestly, probably. There he is. There, there he is. is. There is our handsome king. Hey, buddy. How you doing, bud? You good? Say something into the mic. Here, let me zoom in here. Oh, God. There we go. <laughs> Basically shifted my entire setup. All right. Habibis, while we are... Oh, God, that's too close. Okay, that's better. No, you can zoom back in. I just had to reposition myself. Uh, let's get to our favorite segment, Ask Us Anything. Don't put the banner up. That covers Ernie's face. You can also remove the the titles. Maybe. Hey, buddy. You get, do uh, you have any questions? Let's go we have, we have both farm. I would have to tie her up. She might stab you or go after you with the claws. Honestly, I like. No, she was. They were talking about the foreman. I like the claws. I don't mind. I don't mind getting messed up. Like the claws. Like especially like in your back, on your on your chest, it's good. It's the, they're like uh, they're like uh, uh, war um, wounds. I like them as battle like as wounds? much as you can. Battle wounds. Thank you. Bites, bites, scratches, cuts, knives, the whole shebang. What are we about to watch? <laughs> Oh man. 
Fuck. Even though Alvin the Chipmunk could do it. Fuck, that's so bad. That, Jay, just that just makes her hotter. I'm not gonna lie. Imagine that's so bad. That. Imagine no. smashing that with that voice. No, thank you. Yes, yes, thank you. Mm-mm. Ernie's really enjoying this. Do we have any other questions? I can't even man the, the controls because it got Ernie in both hands. Any a, anything? Literally, anyone have any questions? Super, you know, Rumble rants, locals chat. Oh, Rory Metzger says, "How are those postcards coming along in the Rumble <laughs> in the locals chat?" I didn't even want to answer that shit. How are they, they coming, coming along? Great, they're My coming God. along great in December of twenty twenty two. So great, it is, and they were coming along great earlier hilarious. that year, and I didn't send out a single one yet. It is so fucking hilarious. Like we started this on Instagram, and when we went, <laughs> the moment we went on on uh, Discord and uh, YouTube, that is when mm-hmm. we were supposed to have these out. It has been over two years. That it that actually has been over actual two years. that actual Habibis, like the original Habibis, have been waiting on a postcard that has never come. It actually has been that long, hundred percent. Essentially, essentially. Ernie, you got something to say? To the, the Habibi, you can say something. You could say you could just say it. Just say COVID was invented in the lab, and intentionally released by the Chinese Communist Party. That's all you gotta say. Boom! Most based dog on the internet. Um. Oh, he's he's in for the salt licks. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. President Mitch on locals. What's happening, Mitch? Says, did I tune into Alexander Jones with all the shirtless conspiracy theories? Yes, you did, Habibi. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, Habibi. Uh, on Rumble, what is that? How do you pronounce that, Jay? On come Rumble, just. come just. Where are you saying come just? I'm looking at a crocker. You have one bitch or a dude. You have three dogs. Literally in the banner, Jay. Do a stream where you make them or whatever. Make I what? actually should just do a stream where I'm basically writing postcards. That's the only way I could hold myself. Yes. Yes. That's what you got to do. And then just a screen, like while you're writing the postcards in, in a small little screen, in the big screen, I'm playing Dead Space. Oh, that'd be good. <laughs> that's the stream. That's the stream. That's the idea. <laughs> that's, that's the dream and the stream. That's the, the stream dream. dream. That makes the that dream makes stream. Cream. No, that no, no. Cream. Not Your the dream. stream dream. The dream stream. Because you want to play on dream team. Hold on, no, no, Jay. It's the dream stream. Is the dream stream where you cream your jeans? No, 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 no. Because you want to play on dream team. So it's the dream stream. But but why can't I cream my jeans as well? You always can. I. Why are you doing this to me, Spencer? I I literally can't get up right now. How old? Wait. How old is the Asperger's chick? How old is she? He's before, 20. Before before you even you start saying you're creaming your jeans. How old is she? She's 20. Okay. Okay, she just turned 20 this year. Okay. Smash. Wood. Wood. Smash. Wood. Wood. All four. Smash. All at once. All at once. And we all know we, that two of them. We, we wouldn't be able to handle would. that. We wouldn't be able to handle that. Not at all. Two of the two of them definitely would. And those are the two on the right. <laughs> All so right. we just need to learn how freaky the other two are. All right, Habibis. So, Habibis, guys, yes. Any that, other that questions? Our show. Um, Ernie, you got something to say? No. He's just—he's gonna—he did a really good job tonight, right? Er, right, Ernie. Phenomenal job. Absolutely. So, um, I hope all of you have a wonderful week, a wonderful night. I will be back on Thursday for the for an all new list stream, Jay. Uh, you'll be coming back, <laughs> come, come, uh, for Dead Space stream soon. I'm hoping. Yes, yes. I'm I'm gonna try and do it tomorrow because I I mean I think I got over all of it, mm-hmm. so I can actually get back and play where we left off tomorrow. Yes, yes. because you need to shit your pants. I so don't. Habibis, uh, for the Habibi Rose, I've been Siraj Hashmi. I'm Jack Kobe. And thank you to Spencer Sachs and Ben Morrissey, our producers and list turns.
respectively, um, who are both fired. Thank you to all of you for tuning in. You're the best to BBs and the best audience in the world. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that join button to support us on Locals. Again, we love all of you equally, some more than others. Like I love Jay's butthole more than I love his balls. That's just me, you know? Yeah. 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 Jay, on the other hand, will not reciprocate. Mm -mm. This is what it's like, our relationship. It's terrible. Anyways, Habibs, love you. Good night. Have a good one. Have a good one. <laughs>